Hello, welcome to this demo of Whittle Search, image search with relative attribute feedback. Today, I will briefly introduce the basics of Whittle Search and give a demo. Existing image search methods rely either on keywords or on content-based retrieval. In these methods, if you don't find what you're looking for right away, you can refine your query and say, show me more results like these two. However, you can't really say similar how or similar in what way. This puts you right back to simply hoping that your target is in the next pool of results. The basic idea of Whittle Search is that given two images, you can compare them using a ranking function, such as heel height. Expanding on this idea, you can create a spectrum of shoes sorted by heel height. We can expand this idea even further. After performing an initial query, we can refine a search by selecting from the initial pool of results, providing comparative feedback on specific attributes, and then iteratively whittle away results until we find our target. Think about it like a binary search for shoes. This is the Whittle Search interface. In the top left here is the suggested image finder. Its purpose is to give you something to search for while playing with the demo. In a real scenario, users will already have some concept in mind that they are searching for, and you wouldn't need a suggested image. So in this first demo, I will turn this off and start. To start off, I will look for mountains. Pay attention to the bottom pane here. This is the image pool. We can hover over an image and see the attributes on which we can whittle. Clicking these up and down arrows will filter the image pool. I can say what I'm looking for is less open than this field and more natural than this building. To refresh the image pool, I'll click on this green play button. And as you can see, the image pool is refreshed. It looks a little more like what I wanted, but not quite there. So I'm going to apply these parameters one more time. More natural than this image. And let's go with less open than this image. And refresh the image pool. So as you can see, we're pretty successful. A lot of these images are of mountains. Now let's search for a specific image we see here. In this example, we are going to perform Whittle search on celebrities. First thing we're going to do is say that she has less dark hair than this actress. She is younger than this actress. And let's do one more. Let's say whiter than this actor. So now that we've input our parameters, we are going to refresh the results. Our target is found. To demonstrate another functionality, we can adjust these sliders to narrow our results even more if we know that our image is likely to fall within a certain spectrum of these attributes. So we're just going to refresh our results again, and voila! In this example, we're going to demonstrate how binary attributes work. So first, we're going to filter on beard, but more importantly, we're going to filter on this guy's gender, and whether or not he's wearing eyewear. So we're just going to refresh the results, and there we go. He is the very first image. So in this final example, there are a couple more features I'd like to demonstrate. I'm going to demonstrate with this large data set of shoes, which is kind of more open-ended than people. So first, we're going to do the standard stuff. Let's say I want shoes that are more brightly colored than this one, and less feminine than this one, and let's see. Let's go with more sporty than this one. So the feature that we're going to demonstrate is when we move the sliders, we will be able to see the threshold shoe that is on that slider. So for example, when we slide over this one, we see that the least sporty shoe that has not been whittled away is the one that we selected previously. So we're going to update the results here, and this is the new pool. The next feature I'd like to demonstrate is by disabling the update results button, we can automatically repopulate the pool simply by moving the sliders. Notice that you can still see the threshold shoe that we're cutting off. This gives the user a more smooth experience. Finally, there is one more feature I'd like to demonstrate. While trying the demo, if you can't find the target suggested image or are curious, you can come over here and click on this magnifying glass, and it will show you where on the spectrum the target image falls. Thank you very much for watching. Below are additional resources if you'd like to read up on Whittle Search or play with the demo yourself.